what's going on today guys welcome back to another video and uh, today we are doing project explore from inside the house one because it's 925 out right now and it's so it's pitch black and it would make sense to go up there and film a video when it's well, dark and uh, joining me for commentary today is uh, kidney stone uh, you guys all remember from ATS videos so we haven't done any videos lately together because we didn't want to put all right He's gonna start spamming me again. Yeah. So, dude. Okay. Anyway, today we'll be talking Ew. about rims. Oh, dude. Today we'll be talking about rims. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my parents are buying me wheels for graduation gifts. Uh, I'll be financing them, of course, because uh, yeah. Because um, you still have yet to buy anything for that truck yourself. <gasps> um, the headlights, the taillights, the badges. But you didn't buy those, so. I did actually. So stop lying. Anyway, um, we're on rent -a wheel which is the local <laughs> shop. Uh, there's a shop out in Douglasville that we're probably going to buy these rooms from. Um, so the goal is I'm going for black. Uh, the, the setup I looked at was by... Oh, crap. What was it? The... Um, the crap. I forgot what they're called. Awesome. Uh, there's XIX Exotics, which is the one I looked at. Uh, I actually do have the picture on my phone. I'm gonna look at real quick uh, and figure out which ones they were. Okay, so there are motives. Motive isn't showing up on their website. Is uh, is Riddler? Oh, there he is, right under Riddler. Okay. So these Those are the are ones. Hideous. These are the ones I'm looking at. These are the 409 Magellans. These are 20 by eight and a half, um, with five by 114.3. I don't know what that is. If that's offset or not. Um, but they are eight and a half inch tires, uh, so it'll be really wide. A lot of a lot of a contact patch. And um, I think this, with another thing I'm going to talk about in this video, <laughs> will look pretty good. So, for those who don't know, um, if you don't, if you're new to the channel, I've been wanting to lower my sport track, which is something a little bit unheard of. It's not the most common thing to do with these trucks, and I can kind of see why, due to the truck's well, high roof. Well, because it's a truck. Because of the high roof line. Um, it's a truck. Because of the high roof line. But it's anyway. A truck. But anyway, uh, I was I was looking at a kit. Truck. That was $269, which would drop the back end two and a half inches and the front end two inches, which is what I was wanting. However, as of recent events, it appears Beltac has discontinued that kit. It still appears to be a truck, so... Beltac just appeared to have discontinued that kit. So, um, another idea that because we found <coughs> on JC Whitney is... Uh, me, my dad... Um, we found oh, these things that are called universal lowering blocks. Basically, what a lowering block is, is you throw it into the axle somewhere. I'm not really smart with lowering vehicles. I've never done it, so I'll just take this with a grain of salt. Um, it's something to do with like putting a block in an axle at some point above the suspension, I'm guessing. Uh, for those who don't know, I have leaf springs on the back. Uh, and then there's these U-bolts you plug in. Uh, you change them out with the stock ones, apparently, and it will lower the truck. And then I always thought, when it came to the torsion key stuff, it was only good for lifting. I thought literally when you did torsion key stuff, it was only going to lift the truck. Apparently, well, I mean, if it goes up, it goes down. I didn't know that originally. Like I thought they were already out as far as they would go. So wait, so if you go up, you can't go back down? Is what you thought? I thought that they were already as far down as they would go. But apparently, I'm well, an idiot. I'm an idiot and was wrong. Uh, basically, if you turn the torsion keys up front down a little bit. It will, lower, it will lower the truck. And I did not know that. So don't roast me in the comments for that one. I mean, Michael's probably going to anyway because Michael roasts me in every single video I make. But, um... Well, have you seen the Dollar General in this? Could you not? But, uh, I could have done this months ago. I could have done this before I even got my taillights had I known that these were a thing. Because I was convinced the only way to get a lowery truck done right is to do a kit and do the full spring conversion, the shocks and everything... But it's looking like I'm an idiot and could just do these blocks. Um, a lot of people were saying I should cut the springs, which is not good for cars at all. That's the worst way to lower a vehicle, in my opinion. Even though my dad did it to his bug, both of his Volkswagens. And we all know how that ended. He crashed one into a bus and totaled it when he was still in well, high school. Well, that's because he can't drive. <gasps> that's because he couldn't see. Dad. He couldn't see anything. My dad can drive. You've ridden with him. But, um... No. Basically, what... His car's slow. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we were going 90. Bruh. Oh, you just told on your dad. Now he's going to jail. It's too late. They can't do anything. It's been like a month. But anyway, back to the story of what I'm talking about here. Statute of limitations, boy. But anyway, 
Um, what I want to do is, if we get these wheels, we're probably going to get a bigger rotor for the brakes because um, my dad was a little concerned about that. My dad says usually three sizes bigger than the stock wheels is when you throw new brake rotors in. And um, yeah, the, I these, still stock rotors with twenties because why not, right? My dad says it's not the best for the car. So yeah, it's not good for the brakes at all. You'll shoot through brakes instantly. Yeah. You touch so, the brakes with twenties and the, your brakes are gone. Yeah, Michael's brakes suck. I mean, these guys should have seen that. When I did the Jeep review, um, well, actually, when I was doing that segment where I was moving the transmission back, the car rolled because I literally had my foot pretty firm on the brakes because I put them as firm as I would in my truck, and it still rolled. So I was like, holy crap. And that's when he made the remark, you should hold on tighter than that. Um, but Yeah, I'm used. I'm so used to it. They feel like normal brakes, but then if I drive my mom's car, <laughs> it's like, holy crap. It's so bad. Yeah, I'm like to have the Mustang. The Mustang uh, is super sensitive in, in comparison to the truck. It's like, holy crap. Like, I tap the gas, which I would make my truck, like, just go, meh, and barely move. The Mustang, it's like, raw, and like, oh, shoot. <laughs> the, last I I, the last time I drove it, that's what happened uh, not too long ago. I backed it up a little bit, and I, like, tapped the gas because I was creeping up the driveway, and I was like, I can't go this slow. Rah! Oh, no. But anyway, back to this. Um, I keep getting off a topic <laughs> here. I keep getting sidetracked with this and bread. Um, so uh, we'll get the wheels put on. Basically, I'm probably going to wait to do the lowering until we get the wheels on because I want to get everything done at once. I want to get the wheels put on, speedometer adjusted correctly, the alignment done all at once. Because basically, from what I've read, when you do that, when you do the torsion bar twist on the front to lower it, uh, it messes up your alignment pretty bad. So... Um, and from what I've read, I'll need. From what I've read, I'll need a full camber kit to make sure this is done right. So um, that'll be something that has to be done. Hopefully, with the camber kit, it's Can't not. Can't you just? You can just. You don't have to buy all that trash. Can't you can just do like a normal alignment? I'm not sure. From what I've read, everyone has said camber kit. But if that, that is the case, like just something else to waste your money on. I don't know. I, I'll probably talk to some guys at discount or something and see what they say. Um, Talk to like Mr. B or something. I might if I get the chance. But um, anyway, um, basically to finish off, if we do the camber kit, if that is what we have to do, I don't want to do too much negative camber because if it is negative, I don't know for sure what a camber kit does. If you guys can kind of educate me in the comments, it'd be great. Um, but I don't want this thing to look like the ultimate rice mobile kind of car. Um, I don't want it to have like a but cheap not? ton, because it's not gonna be rice. It's gonna don't be take my, don't take my, don't take my phrases, kid. Bro, butt cheek. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, um, long oh story short, he said a butt cheek ton. Oh, <laughs> doesn't even sound right. Yeah. Oh, why am but, I talking um, like this? I don't know. You sound gay. But anyway, guys, oh, thank you guys I'm for tuning in. That you're gay, and thank you guys for tuning All in. All right, cool. Thank you guys again for tuning into this. All right, good talk. Dude, your butt cheeks are this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Project Explorer. Go subscribe to Kendall Can you Stone. Get it out? Go subscribe to Kendall Stone. I'll leave his channel in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next Don't time. Move. I apologize for how crappy this video was. See you guys later.